One of the most common questions I get is, can you set the robot to go a certain distance using rotations rather than the timer? And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. So as you can see right now, I've already got my program set up for the robot to move using the timer, where the timer is reset, we have a half a second wait, and then a repeat until a greater than, less than equation with the timer being greater than five, so that when the timer passes five seconds, the robot will exit that repeat loop and stop moving. So how do we go from using the timer to using rotations? Well, the first thing you want to do is if you click on your robot, you can choose a motor and I'm going to select motor A and on this pull down menu, you have these options, power, speed, relative position and position. When the robot is in position, it just keeps on running up to 360 degrees and then resetting at zero. But if you go to relative position, now when I turn motor A, you can see that as he goes up to 360, it just keeps counting and counting and counting. So now that the motor is reading relative position, you can actually use relative position to count the number of degrees the robot goes. So how do we then go from this to having the robot measure the distance it goes and exiting on a certain distance? Well, to do that, you have to come down here to the little plus and add more motors. And now, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, we have more motors down here, and there's two commands you need. You need this A relative position pill, and then you also need this set A relative position to zero. Now, since A is a motor that I am using, I am going to actually use A, but if you wanted to use a different motor or a different port, you can just click on the pull down menu and choose whichever port you want to do. Now, all I have to do is take this reset timer out and set the A relative position to zero. And then in the program itself, take the timer pill out and then put the A relative position is greater than and change this value to the distance you wanna go. Remembering that 360 degrees is one rotation. So if you want the robot to go roughly three rotations, it's a little over 1,000 degrees. But so now I have the robot, rather than going in time, actually measuring the number of degrees it's going and then exiting after a certain number of degrees. And let's watch the program and see how it works. So as you can see, it reset to zero and exited at about a 1,025 degrees. So this is how you set the robot to go a certain distance rather than using the timer. 